Health and care workers in the WHO European region have been critical in providing quality health services to nearly 1 billion people, but many countries are facing a shortage. Our workers are aging. They're not always where we need them. Most importantly, they're not always safe. The pandemic has placed a spotlight on these realities and exacerbated them. Health and care workers continue to be on the front line, working relentlessly to protect us during this unprecedented pandemic, often in high stress environments. They are tired. Far too often they have fallen ill and far too many of them have been lost to the virus, working to save lives. WHO is here to support all member states in the European region to ensure that the health workforce is protected, motivated, equipped and empowered to deliver safe care at all times, during COVID-19 and beyond. We need to invest in them. The need is urgent. Our health systems and the way in which they deliver and perform health services depend on it. Investing in our health and care workers means making sure they have the skills they need, that they are where they're needed the most, and in an environment that engages and motivates them. We need to protect them, and we have a moral obligation to do so. The benefits go beyond the health and safety of our communities. It's also about equity. Globally, 70% of the health and social workforce are women, Investing in the workforce means investing in gender equity, decent jobs and economic opportunity for all. And we need to do this together. Our European programme of work gives us the blueprint for working in partnership and solidarity to improve the health and well-being of our people. We can work together on long-term policies that improve the sustainability of health and care workers and their retention in the workforce. Let's make sure that the commitments made this year and the lessons learned during this pandemic continue into the future for the well-being of our children and our grandchildren. The time to act is now. Let's protect and invest in our health and care workers.